Hey, what are you doing here? Today I'm gonna create life hacks to fix your everyday problems. Starting with Mackenzie who says, I'm dog sitting and their dog whines and whines unless I give her eye contact. It's really distracting and unsettling. Mackenzie, I get it. I have a dog. He too has eyes, two of them, as I said. <laughs> this is what I do with my dog. There they are. Take two googly eyes. It's all you need. You don't need any more than that. And then just put them on your dog. It'll be like someone's always peering deep, deep inside of his soul. It kind of make him more anxious, if anything. Feel good? Glad I could help. Okay, Phoenix says, I'm gender fluid, but don't know how to tell my family. Family. Uh, my mom knows and my friends know, but uh, everyone else in my family doesn't. Afraid they're not gonna accept you. Phoenix, I just might have the life hack for you. you it's, I lost my third eye. <laughs> I lost my train of thought too. Fun fact, did you know you are good enough? <laughs> You're enough. Yeah. Phoenix, feel free to use that part of the video to show your family. DN Dude says, my problem is I can't stop spinning office chairs. Every time I sit in one, it just starts going. I understand it, okay? They swivel for a reason. Hey, if my office chairs don't swivel, swivel, it bores me. You ever tried it with one of these? Uh. Hold on, dude. I just came up with the best life hack. Boom. You just duct tape two of your just-in-case weapons to your kneecaps. Impossible to bend your legs. If you didn't like the life hack, you could just set it. You didn't have to come at me like that. You wanna tape them to where it's excruciatingly painful to stick your legs onto the floor, such as I have done. That takes both the fun out of spinning in the chair and out of literally just existing. But it's a double life hack. Say right now someone comes in and tries to rob me. I don't think so. Wait one second. You got a knife? No, that's not the weapon you came with. You, sir, have come to the wrong place. You're protected or unconscious. Depends on how fast they work. And then go ahead and return this thing back to the guy you took it from. Here you go, dude. That should stop you from spinning in your chair and from enjoying life. Abby J says, no matter how many I buy and what the variety is, I can never get my cat to eat treats. I just want to show her how good she is and how proud of I am of her. Abby J, have you tried the treats you're giving your cat? Maybe they don't taste good. These are Unchained Melody. <laughs> Mr. Presley. <laughs> Catnip fever. What's wrong with your cat? These are good. What in the world are these? Who knew catnip was that good? I swallowed that. Abby J, do I have a eye hanging from my beard? Abby J, I hate to break it to you. I think your cat's a skinwalker. Yeah, yeah I, have, I have a remedy for that. It involves moving away from the cat. If your cat's not eating treats, it's eating someone. Something. Uh, so I suggest just to stay on its good side, okay? If he wants to trip you down the stairs, fake it a bit. Up the production a little bit. You don't want to be on their bad side, okay? Or their back side. Hello? Cat -nip. The cat ain't gonna eat him. Neither am I. Glad I could help. Kim Amalay says, lived in my house for three years. I keep tripping up the stairs every time I go up and down them. I'm gonna ask you one question. Would you like a goldfish? Second question. Have you ever slipped and tripped at the same time. You haven't lived until you have tripped and slipped at the same time, okay? <laughs> I think this one's a little self-explanatory, but I'm gonna go ahead and self-explanatory. Answer me this question. What happens when you slip? Correct, you fall. Notice how you didn't say trip, okay? You wanna avoid tripping up your stairs. Check this out. Enjoy the second level of your house because you will no longer be tripping to get there. Enjoy the basement because you might find your way down there a bit. Let me do this. Hold on. Lawsuit. Yeah. Greased up and slipped up your stairs? Don't worry. Call Brandon Ferris. There's an eye in there. There's an eye everywhere. You're welcome, Kim. Grab you some oil and some ointment. Should be good to go up those stairs. Okay, G-Star 21. I was brushing my teeth this morning, good start, and I looked down to spit out the toothpaste and felt a sharp pain in my neck and that continued all day. Yeah, the right side of my neck's been hurting like crazy. I think I looked to the right when I knew I shouldn't have. I knew good and well that I'm supposed to pivot my body with my neck now and not independently turn my head. Whoa, there we go again. I'm gonna fix that neck, okay? This is actually a hack I learned when studying abroad. I eventually learned that broad and now we're married. <laughs> Boy, did I pass that test. It's pretty simple. You just put tin foil over the parts that hurt. I don't have enough to cover all my hurts. And then just apply a little bit of pressure. Ow. Okay, Sugar Skull says my dog is afraid of when intimate objects move without reason. <laughs> I think we can all relate to that. If, if, if something intimate starts flying towards me for no reason, I'm dodging that thing. Okay, whoo, whoo, you ain't gonna catch me, mainly because I just had catnip and now I can't control it. Okay, if your dog is afraid of intimate objects that move without reason, <sighs> I, no, 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 I can fix this. Maybe move that drawer to a higher drawer to where your dog can't get to it. Oh, here we go. For example, like brooms, papers, doors, the fridge. Hey, the fridge. Inanimate. God. Whoa. Whoa. 
right over my head. Probably where the intimate objects go towards the dog. Is your dog eating the catnip fever treats? Okay, I just, I need to know because my anxiety is through the roof. Roof, roof. <laughs> The dumbest joke I've ever said in my life. Inanimate objects are everywhere. I call this the, hey, it's moving now, water goggles. It also passes as a lactation station. If you're thirsty, all you gotta do is stick these over your dog's eyes and then boom, all inanimate objects are now moving. It also works if he's afraid of dehydration. And then when you're done, you just put them back into their upright position and boom. Oop. And they kind of look like intimate objects. Rose says, I can't stop thinking about my childhood game where my friends would run around and brutally shove grass in each other's mouths. I miss that game. <laughs> Where'd you grow up? Okay, life hack. I think we need to have a gigantic meet and greet on a field. Hear me out. And we all shove grass in each other's mouths. It'd be the biggest thing since sliced bread shoved in a mouth. I'm sure that was a big hit when they first figured out you could do that. Skylar Sweetwild says, my dog will not poop in the backyard. That's an easy fix. Just bring the outdoors inside. You mean to tell me that y'all didn't build an in-house garden during COVID? What did you eat? Yeah, during the pandemic, I lived off the land. Okay, the 400 square feet in which I live. Yeah, the water's plentiful. We got goggles full. The only thing that we've been able to grow so far is flies, bunch of them. We're thinking about eating those. Right, your dog, let him poop here. You can take the dog out to poop, okay? But you cannot take the poop out the dog. That's gross. Snow Dove says, Brandon, do you have a life hack for coming out to your parents? I do. Snow Dove, you're perfect in every single way and I love you no matter what your parents say, but feel free to show them that part of the video. It should explain everything in great comedic detail. You're welcome. VSXOLAR69 says, when I walk outside, I am not in my house anymore. Super simple songs is what my son listens to, but uh, this. <laughs> It's a two for one. Just walk into the perennial portion of the house, boom, you're outside, but you're inside. Win-win, I think. I don't know what you're going after. Dumb three girl says, can you fix my problem? How do I fight my sisters with weapons? Bring weapons. Julie Arnson says, I have a genuine fear of glass doors and plexiglass after COVID. You mean like these? Ah! Yeah, what is that? Why, why, what, what? Uh-huh. Due to running into plexiglass more than once. I got you, you two for flinching. <laughs> this would work. <laughs> boom. Your marker writes on it before you get to it. That way you know, hey, that's gonna be something my face is gonna hit. No, oh, my baby's in the bathtub. Beans for dinner. Okay, Pickle Butts and Purple Mud says, I've become addicted to listening to classical music and wearing antlers whilst I'm falling asleep. <sighs> Don't. Alexis Ledbetter, no matter how hard I try, I'll never be good enough in my mom's eyes. Just put these over your mom's eyes. Yeah, everybody's good enough for googly eyes. Cake Boss says, my problem is whenever I blink, I have a millisecond where everything is dark and I'm afraid of the dark. That is terrifying. This may work. Oh. Ow! What is your problem? Just go ahead and tell me what your problem is down in the comments below. You may be in the next video where I try to fix your problems with my life hacks. Hopefully there's like music building in the background. Otherwise, it's just dumb.